Take it. Hello guys, this is Boss Techly today again. I'm here with another tutorial. And this time I'm gonna be showing you how to play games on your PC using your PS4 controller. So yes, I'm gonna be showing you how to be how to play FIFA World Cup today, along with Battlefield 3. And um I'm gonna be showing you how to pair your PS4 controller with the PC to allow you to do that. So what you want to do is you want to download this software right here. The link will be down in the description below. And what this does is basically pairs your PC and PS4 controller. And I'm going to be using the USB method today since I don't have a Bluetooth dongle. And my desktop is not Bluetooth compatible. So yeah. So what you want to do is you want to make your way to um, <coughs> the zipped folder. Yeah, which is right here. And what you want to do is you want to unzip it using um, or extract it. You can say unzip or extract either way. So what you want to do, you want to extract it here, and you want to have at least like a WinRAR or 7-zip or something like that. And once you extract it, you're going to come up with this folder right here. You want to open this up. <coughs> you're going to go to SCP Server. Now you're going to get the zip. What you want to do is you want to highlight it, and you want to right-click and go to Extract Here. What will that do? It will extract the files here into this folder right here. So what you want to do, open that up. We're going to go to Bin. We're going to go to Zadig. And then you're going to see there's a dig.exe. Now, every application that you open in this tutorial, you're going to want to run it as administrator. So what you want to do is you want to highlight it, right click, and go to run as administrator. Go to yes. And what that will do is that will open this thing right up. So what you want to do, you want to plug in your PS4 controller right now using the USB. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. <clears throat> so now that I have uh, plugged in my PS4 controller, I'm going to go to device, load preset device, since it already has it downloaded for you. It's a CFG file, so what you want to do, go to DualShock 4. Now if you have a PS3, you would go to DualShock 3. But I have a PS4 controller, and I'm going to go to DualShock 4 CFG. So we're going to go to open. What that will do, open this up right here. We're going to go to options, list all devices. Now the name for the PS4 controller is wireless controller. I don't really know, but that's the default from Sony. So what you want to do is click on wireless controller. I'm going to go to reinstall driver, but you guys have to click on install driver since I've done this before. So I'm going to click reinstall. It's going to be installing the driver. <coughs> the driver was installed successfully. We're going to go to close, close this, go back. Now what you want to do is that you want to go to the scpdriver.exe. So remember, we're going to run it as administrator. We're going to go to yes. It's going to bring this up right here. Now, if you're on Windows 8, what you want to do is that you want to make sure that force install is unchecked. I don't have a Bluetooth dongle, so I'm going to uncheck this right here. I'm going to also uncheck configure service. So what you want to do is go to install. Install succeeded. Now that you know that it succeeded, you will see um, basically that. It's going to say install succeeded and install summary. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to exit. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go to scpserver.exe. Remember, again, run as administrator. Yes. You're going to see it right here. It's going to say pad 1. So we're going to check that. That's going to be your PS4 controller. And now you'll see the PS4 controller light up, basically, whatever color it is. Mine is red right now. So what you want to do, we're going to leave this right here. And we're going to go to the scpmonitor.exe, also run this as administrator to make sure that your PS4 controller is working. And as you see right here, server connected. Now we know that it's working. So, <clears throat> I'm going to make my way to FIFA World Cup. Or, sorry, FIFA World. Whatever it is. So, yeah, I'm just going to go to FIFA, yeah, FIFA World. Open that up. I'm just going to wait for it. Okay, it's loading, loading. Press any key to continue. Yay, sports, nice. Please wait while we log you into EA servers. Now what you want to do, you want to go to the options right there. And then you want to go to controller. Now, when you go to controller, I know that it shows a an Xbox controller right here, but it works the same for a PS4, so we're going to go to continue. 
we're going to start a match. Let's go to kickoff. We're going to go to... Let's go to single player season. I'll go to play match. Continue. I don't really care about this right now. Continue. Begin match. Now that you see it's loading. And I'm going to be starting right now. As you see, it says Y right there. So basically, you're going to need to know the um, the controls for Xbox. So you got you guys got to know where the A, B, Y, and I believe X is on the Xbox controller. So we're going to start this. Press any button to skip. Okay, as you see right there, I'm moving with my PS4 controller right now. It's 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 amazing. It's just like playing on a PS4, but it's better because you get better graphics, stuff like that. Depends on what kind of computer you have, and it was free. So yeah, I mean you can't really get this for free on PS4 unless you jailbreak it, and you don't really want to get console banned. So yeah, guys, this is Boss Tech with the day again. Please like, comment, and subscribe.